Welcome back guys to Divinity Original Sin. So we are trying to find out what's up with this place here. So I'm gonna start looting all this stuff. There's a lot of books over here. Now we might need Scarlet for for another lookout over this place because she's gonna have more perception than Roderick. And there's a lot of stuff over here. Just pick everything up. Actually, I don't really need all this stuff. Let's just grab the notes and books and whatnot. Grab that, that. Every rains. Devouring greed, okay. On recipe describing how to brew an elixir of courage, yep. We have indeed. Okay, let's read all the books now. So we got the following. The Witch and the Beast. Deep in the forest there lived a witch called Yar Germain. Whoa, is this the White Witch? Her beauty and intelligence were unmatched in the realm and at the age of 32 Yar Germain decided to spend the rest of her life in the solitude of the forest. Legend has it that she befriended a mighty spirit who lived in the forest and that she became his lover and gave birth to his child. Sadly, sadly, Yar Germain's newborn boy was ugly and looked more like a beast than a man-child. His whole body was covered in brown fur and as the boy grew up in the forest he looked more and more like a terrifying animal. He killed innocent people who ventured too near to Yar Germain's hut and so she decided to end her son's pitiful existence. Once the spirit discovered what she had done, he strangled her. Now he haunts the area around Yar Germain's hut with the spirit of his son beside him. That's the first book, Moradino's Cold Bones. It had been nearly three months since Moradino had seen green. Day after day he gazed from the windows of his father's home, waiting for the torrent of snow to cease. After many weeks of cold, Moradino grew impatient. Who was the winter to decide how long to stay and when to go? Shouldn't a wiser fellow say Moradino himself, for instance, make such an important decision? It was settled, Moradino himself would clear winter from the land and its denizens would laud him as a hero. He swathed himself in furs and broom in hand, set to the task of sweeping every last snowflake into the bin. He worked for many long hours, but whatever progress he made would be quickly reversed by a constant gentle powdering from above. Moradino wailed, Moradino stamped. He glared into the grey-white sky above him, pointing a finger straight into its colorless mass and swore, You will pay for this. Okay. Wear ship recipe. Keep your finest ship's wool from me, will you, father? I'll show you, I'll show you all. Wear ship animal. Armor. Fire a lock of the finest seasonal undead use wool in a fine elemental force to increase your resistance to all things unfair. Oh yeah. Okay, next up. Latest research. Ha! The potion is complete and not a moment too soon. I fear the monster is growing bolder by the minute and soon she may be nigh unstoppable. She lingers in the shadows, eyeing me eightfold, sizing up my succulent flesh and salivating. My life is a walking nightmare, as ever vigilant I remain, lest she appear where I least expect her, poised for the attack. But one sip of this elixir of courage will fortify my every limb and nerve. I'll poise my mighty heel of justice above her, minuscule but abominable frame, and in one stomp of my mighty boot, the arachnid threat will be neutralized. Free will Moradino be of her reign of terror, free at last. I must remember this most formula, the fruition of night upon desperate night of experimentation, in case one of her thousand sisters determines to take up her abandoned throne in the corner behind the commode. Elixir of courage combine one apple and one pumpkin. Indeed, we know how to do that now. What's next? Moradino and the Matchbox. As a child, Moradino was fascinated by the ephemeral dance of the flame. Prohibited from tinkering with his mother's matchbox, Moradino nevertheless dreamt of the day he'd be able to master a flame of his own. When he began his studies into the, into the arcane wizarding arts, he came upon a spell that quite fascinated him. Ignea Couple, it was called it promised to introduce his supple growing mind to a world of magical fire. Moradino studied the spell long into the night. As the sun crested upon the horizon, he determined to try what he had learned. Carefully, precisely, 
he spoke the words on the page. A warm sensation came over him. Was it the fire of knowledge, the power of the academic flame within? No, it was his very hair blazing and burning ever higher into the early morning. Maridno shrieked and dunked his head into his basin. He never attempted the spell again. But poor fool. Did that cause a reaction? Oh. Hmm. I wonder what that did. Hello there. Did I loot the bookshelves? No, I didn't. So let's do that then. We got a few more books as well. Holy shit. That loot. Was I about to hit that guy? I think I was. Lucky find. Thank you. Okay, so... Muradino's Stormy Nights. Nothing gave the young Muradino quite such fright as a thunderstorm. The booming, the banging, the flashing, the fury. It was enough to drive any lad utterly mad. Fortunately for Muradino, he was in excellent company, for his father's dogs felt the exact same way. To prevent the whole brood from nervously chewing their own paws to the bone, canine and youth were confined to a deep, dark cellar during times of storm. The dogs calmed and young Maradino with them. There they remained, snug as bunnies, until the storm passed. Heavy rains. After a particularly vivid dream, Maradino was struck by an unshakable idea. His lair ought to be tucked deep into the earth, away from prying eyes and bothersome vagrants. And so he set out with his shovel, prepared to dig himself a palace worthy of one Maradino to the power of ten. He would sit, he imagined, sultan like among his earthy pipe pillars and mud servants in his hidden mansion. Sky dwellers, scoffed he, what do they know of my ways? Late into the night did Muradino dig, but trouble brewed high up in the much maligned sky above Muradino. First a droplet landed directly in Muradino's proud, unshifting eye. In the span of a single blink, Muradino's fortress to be was under attack by a million ceaseless, dewy soldiers. The great hole he had intended as the foyer quickly filled with a swirling miasma of water, mud and failure, Muradino trudged back to his father's house, disillusioned by the sky's ill intentions, he would have his revenge. This we swore. Damn, he's a pretty vindictive guy, isn't he? Devouring greed. Muradino had had enough, his mother had been baking sweet after delicate sweet from morning till noon, yet she had expressly prohibited him from trying even the tiniest scrub of her creations. She'd holler and holler as she cried, but only the words not for you and terrible and must promise me reached his ears between his banshee-like wails. Imagine it, the boot of the matriarch pressed so firmly upon his neck, and those sweets just laying about untouched by his appreciative lips. But Maradino was no tyrant's thrall. No, no, he devised a plan to steal into the kitchen while the she-devil of the kitchen went to the outhouse to relieve herself. In less than an hour she had dashed out, and Maradino had dashed in, stealthy as a gorilla, determined to take... almost said like gorilla... <laughs> gorilla... Mm. determined to take what had been denied to him. Maradino had already shot the fourth little pastry into his mouth when the despot returned. She screamed out and rushed over to our young revolutionary and without ado began a beating him about the back. Amid his pastry adult cries, Moradino could only make out such meaningless phrases as rat poison and dead by morning. Let her have her little cookies, decided Moradino. Later that evening, after having been forced to swallow no small amount of charcoal by way of punishment, they tasted terrible anyway. Mm. Damn. He had a rough childhood, this guy, didn't he? Okay, so what else do we get? Field guide. So you have some cloth or leather and a needle, but no thread. Did you know that hair will work as thread too? You can turn hair into thread simply by having lots of it and putting it together. It's not only sewing that thread is good for, you can make your own necklaces with a good piece of thread. Okay, blank stuff. Give those over to Johan. Slow down arrow. Send to Scarlet. Nature's Curse. I think I already have that. Let me s let me have Scarlet check up on that. Uh, 
Um, so, Nature's Curse skill book. And Nature's Curse skill book. So, I'm actually going to just send that over to the homestead because we don't need it. Okay, so now, one would assume that when I step inside here, it's gonna be a trap. Is everyone healed up? They are. Let me summon the spider. Huh. And go and steal the bloodstone. There you have it. Source Hunter 1, Secret of Absent Wizard 0. Aha. This must be the bloodstone Frederick is so desperate for. Hold your tongue and listen closely. Oh shit. It's a fireball. This guy is pretty big. He's a ghost, though. Oh shit! Wait a minute. It doesn't appear that I can loot that, though. Oh, wait a minute, I can't loot this anywhere anymore anyway. Hmm. Okay. So... We need to... I could try and attack this guy, actually. Just do that. Aha! That damage. Holy shit, we almost killed him. That was really good. Fear. Immune to fear. Get wrecked, bitch. Okay, so this guy is a ghost as well. He looks kinda ghostly. Fortified him, okay. Blessed. Holy shit. He's getting all sort of buffs. Who's this guy? Kandara Eagleheart. Oh, that burning. Get wrecked. Oh shit, here we go. Blinded. Uh oh. Is that bad? I hope we can still use our abilities. Wait a minute, I can kill this guy. But I don't have enough. I got 10, this costs 6 and 4 for the jump. No, I gotta do this. Oh shit. This is terrible. Hmm. So. Um, you know, I could probably just use the pyramid. Well, let's do battering ram first. That guy's dead. What if I use the pyramid? This is gonna screw it over. I'm gonna actually try and see if I can open the door. This is kind of lame. Welcome the Forsaken. Forsake me not. Return to me. Oh, he's resurrecting him. Okay, it's kind of lame. Attack of opportunity. What? Oh, it's feared. Okay, I get it. Johan, can I heal him at least? I can heal him. Can I summon something inside? Yes, I can. Oh, never mind. We're just gonna kill them like this then. Aha! Get exploited, bitch. Scarlet. Hmm, I think the fire elemental is really nice over here. There we go. I don't know if I can stay with Scarlet here though. It's pretty dangerous. Let's go down there. Because they might fire a fireball here or something. I need another spider. Summon it just in there. There we go. Now the ice elemental's turn. Uh, do 
we wanna just kill Murad, you know, since he just resurrects everyone. I guess I still need to shoot at him. He might be immune to ice though. Let's try it anyway. Oh shit. He's immune to freezing, but his dudes are not immune to ice at all. They're quite vulnerable actually. And move over there. There we go. Okay, fire dude. Maybe we should kill Kandara Eagleheart. Or hit them both. Or try and go on this guy maybe. Let's go on this guy actually. Oh ho ho, big damages. Come over here buddy. God damn it. Why isn't he... Oh, he is flanked. Never mind. Keep him over there. Uh oh. Fumbled when the plane consumed. You idiot. Uh oh. It's not good. Rip in peace, elemental. What's he doing now? He's freezing the spider. The almost dead spider. It's pretty good. Who's next? Roderick. So does this guy count as a summon? I'm not sure. Because Scarlet can do... is able to do something about that. Okay, Roderick. Don't need any of those. Mm, charming touch. 60% chance though. And it's 8 action points. Holy shit. Also has range of 3 meters. Okay, so I think... Well, there's not much we can do. Maybe crushing fist? Maybe I just want to save the action points, really. Or just delay for now. Let's delay. Maybe they will come closer. Okay. Action points for that. What do I want to do here exactly? Try poison, but they they are bound to be immune to that. Inspire, Boulder, Flurry, Bliss, Fortify. I think I'm just gonna do Crushing Fist, really. Wait a minute, why can I not do it? Oh, because he's blinded, right. He's blinded for two more turns. Well, shit. Let's just go over here. And maybe hit him in the face while we're at it. 76%. I think I'm gonna use precision. Just to make sure. Whoa! Okay, that's kinda weird. Trying to stun me. Freezing. You know what? Absorb the elements would be really nice here, actually. Okay, Johan is next. I can even heal him from here. So that's really nice. Let's see where exactly can I summon this guy? Right here. I think I'm gonna use a minor heal, right? Should I use a strong regenerate? 450... Yeah, the regenerate is... Actually... In this situation, minor heal might be better, actually. Even though it heals less. Because we're already pretty much at full health. Can I... Maybe use feather drop? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You go, Medora. Let's do this. Aha! Into the fray. Okay, Scarlet. I need you to use absorb the elements on Roderick. Thank you. Wait, what? What? Backfire or something? What what just happened? 
resistance is nullified. Did I just totally wreck Roderick? This is bad. Okay, I need to do what? Try destroy someone. Which is too far away. Yeah, I'm nowhere near to him. Now this is kind of terrible. Use fire resist maybe. Okay, that worked at least. Damn. And I'm gonna give him. Should I give? Should I give Madora? No, I'm gonna give Roderick. Screw it. Because he has a beastly weapon. Okay, spider time. Um, that guy is almost 50 HP. Although we kind of want to support Roderick here, if at all possible. But we do have Madora and the Elemental, so let's just keep wailing at this guy over here. Only miss, unfortunately. Okay, Madora, I need, to, I need to do some work right about now. So there's no really... Actually, we could charge from here. Let's do this. here actually. Okay, the fire elemental. 45. Yeah, let's just try and hit this guy. Nice. Something. Okay, this guy. He is chilled. He should get frozen. Let's do it. Nice. Can I get up to that guy? Not really. Let's go over here first. Still can't hit him. I'm just gonna move over here. Oh. Melee attacks the elemental. Misses the spider. Uh -huh. Attack of opportunity on that guy, he's almost dead. Pretty curious why he decided to just ignore Madora like that. And try to get to surround on Roderick, who already has some buffs on himself. And debuffs, for that matter. What is he doing? Did he just like not do anything? Saving action points. Yeah, he didn't do anything. That's pretty cool of him. I think I'm gonna kill this guy. I still have my precision on. That's six action points. No, I can bliss myself actually. Let's take that off. And I'm gonna use bliss. Could have fumbled there actually. That was kind of tricky. Nice. Uh oh. Mm. I guess we had we have to kill Moradio because this tactic doesn't appear to be working. It's just resummoning them over and over again. Can you teleport maybe? No? Not quite yet. Need to get closer. A lot from here. Uh huh. Can't really. Uh huh. It's a good spot. Boom. And rip. Probably heal someone. Medora might be in trouble. 
but we can heal her anyway. There we go, that, that should be good. Okay, Scarlet. Maybe we should use Fire Shield on Medora as well. She's pretty far right now. We could delay our turn actually. That might be useful. Let's delay. Spider time. I think I'm just. Yeah, let's just charge Moradino really. At this point. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. Medora, she's slowed. I do have to attack him though. Chance to hit minus 10%. I think I'll take it, honestly. That doesn't sound too bad. Look at that. 107. Pretty good. Okay, with this guy, I really have to attack him. Because I'm not going to be able to withstand another blow on him. So he's pretty much dead anyway. Let's keep attacking him. Holy shit, he walked into his model for some reason. Um, let's go over here, sure. Oh, the misses. Oh, he's not dead still. Damn. Hero elemental. Resisting everything. Okay, we got Roderick now. I could delay, but that's not very useful. I could kill this guy. Let me try and do that actually. Let's see if it works. Nice, level up. Oh yeah, baby. Crippling blow. Oh, that's so weak. So fucking weak. Okay, we leveled up, we got one ability point and that's it. We're up to three, we are saving them for pyrokinetics. She delayed her turn, so now she can do all sorts of shenanigans. Let's move over there first. And what do we want to do? Maybe drain willpower on Moradino? What? Hmm, I can do blind on him. That's always good. There we go. Seems to have a pretty good chance of functioning. Wildfire. Nah, that doesn't. I can't really use any spell though. Oh, what is this? I think that's a joke. Can't. Can't really fit it through that kit. I could do bowler bash. Hmm. That might not be a terrible idea. The summon might. We might need to. Res but I'm gonna get the turn anyway. Um, let's see. What else do we have? We can wildfire. We can bless fortify. We can try destroy summon. I don't think it works by the looks of it. See, that doesn't work. Absorb the elements, I think it doesn't work either. Grand high resistance, because we tried on Roderick and he got minus 50 to everything instead of plus 50. Which is kind of weird. Ooh, blessed earth might be really nice. But it doesn't really hit anyone. Mass weakness, lower damage, good strength. Drain willpower. Remove vulnerability. I think we just drain willpower. And let's see what else can we do. Do we can can we just color bash? No, we cannot anymore. We can bless. We can what's this cost? Five action points. That's fine I believe. Or yeah yeah, that should be fine. Okay, fire resist, can I yes, nice. There we go. That should be pretty cool. He is blind and he can't do shit because of that. That spell is pretty overpowered. Okay, do we just delay with Johan maybe? 
Ooh, I could use lightning strike as well. Why, why would I want to do that though? Disease, bodybuilding, this might be nice. Yeah, let's use that. Never mind, they are immune. It was still worth a shot. Slow current, feather drop. Maybe slow current is good here. Is he, he's chilled actually, can I use this? Yes I can, let's freeze him up. Freezing fail, god damn it. Now Scarlet's turn. I think I wanna resummon him. And bam. Try Boulder Bash. Okay, that worked pretty well. I'm gonna run away. Spider time. Hit him. Nice damage. Ho ho ho. Okay. Medora. She's still slow, goddammit. I think I had like. Yeah, yeah, I had a thing that I could cure slow, but... Oh well, whatever. Rage, encourage, low resistance. Divine light. Maybe just crushing fist, actually. Why not? Boom. Get down, baby. Ice elemental. Get that 100% hit chance, baby. Yeah, get that fire in there. Burn that. Burn him to a crisp. I don't care about your... Holy shit, that was pretty tough. Well, whoops. Not reach. For some reason I can't walk over there. That's pretty lame. Whatever. Uh oh. Fear again. Really? Fear failed on everyone though. Get wrecked. Elemental Havoc on the Ice Elemental. No, not the Fire Elemental. Drain Willpower. What an idiot. Elemental Havoc again. Okay, Roderick. Let's see, you got 8 action points. You can hit him. And that's what we are going to do. Where is the melee power stance? Boom. Get wrecked, baby. Oh ho ho! 440 damage. Really nice. Nope. Try again. 15, okay. It's pretty damn easy. I think at this point he's pretty much dead, really. Let's just... where is that thing actually? Cleansing water. It actually doesn't cure slowness, so... Never mind. Just delay... And delay... And just attack Marad, you know. And that's pretty much it for this fight. By the looks of it. Still not enough for... But if I use... I can melee power stance this. And then I'm gonna have enough for uh, Flurry. So that's great. There we go. I'm just gonna hit, keep. What? Hit him, I guess. <laughs> what? That makes no fucking sense. Whatever. Let's hit someone. Nullify resistance. Pumble. He finally <laughs> manages to kill that fire elemental. Who's next? Roderick. Okay, you should be able to use your stuff now. 
Wait, we've already flurried. I can rage. How much to attack him? Six action points with the power stance, right? So I can just rage. But I don't think that's a great idea because these guys might target me afterwards. So we should not do that. We should just hit him normally instead, I guess. Yeah. There we go. And. Rage. No, we're just gonna save up. And we can uh, rage afterwards at the start. So that's fine. <laughs> Those misses, man. Okay, they delay their turn, so I can resummon the Ice Elemental. And what else can I do? I guess I can just heal up and stuff. No reason to get them into the battle here. Let's get him over there. I can try and use Bitter Cold again. He's knocked down for two more turns, so that's fine. I'm gonna use it on him, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Pretty much got this battle sorted. I'm gonna actually wildfire. Can I wildfire Roderick? Or do I wanna wildfire Medora? I can't. I'll just wildfire Roderick. There we go. Just delay. Okay, Modora. Time for the flurry. Oh, he's back up. Okay, then. Have some flurry. Oh ho ho! Jesus. 500, 800, 1000. Holy shit. She did like 1200 damage. Oh, she's gonna free. Damn, almost froze her. That was uncalled for. Okay, fire elemental. Fire the cannons. Not rich. God damn it. What's he doing? He's trying to. Oh shit, you. Don't kill him. Use invulnerability. He did it, he died anyway. What an idiot. Oh yeah, Roderick, it is time. What do you wanna use? Just melee attacks, I guess. How about crushing fist first? Or we could use whirlwind. But that's not gonna do anything really. Let's crushing fist first. Yes, that's what I wanted. Now I can kick the shit out of him. And actually we need to do it without the power stance. Because we can attack twice like that. There we go. And actually we can use it once. There we go, almost. Boulder and finish him off. There we go. Oh, I still need to take care of these guys now. Okay then. Just buff Roderick with everything. We have. Um, I need more offensive spells. Getting some blessing over there. Give him bless. There we go. Alright, Johan. I really want to use that thing to do over here. And let's try lightning strike. He might die though. Ah, we can't do it anyway. Can't open that. 
Ah, uh, screw it, we can't do anything with him. Just stay there. Try blessing of earth. Any other helpful spells? Not really. Skip. Okay, Madora. How about... Just, just attack him, I guess. Or not. Fall on your ass, like a fool. Hit him. One more time. There we go. And hit him. Wrecked, bitch. Aha! Get slapped. Blind. Come on, dude. Let's get over this. Let's get this over with. You are done. Admit it. What the fuck? Just walk through the fire, dude. Don't be a pussy. Let's kick his ass. Do you have the power stance on? Yes, you do. Fuck him up. There you go, guys. Um, can I open the door now? I need the key. Damn it, Roderick. Use the tornado. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Open the door. Thank you. Maybe we should have given them the door key at the start, but I didn't think it would get closed. Okay, so we got a leather brigantine, and that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Oh, 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 we need to grab this over here. And actually, I'm gonna read that book as well. Okay, so we got self immolation scroll, and well, not all that interested. So we got the bloodstone, lightning bolt. He's gonna send that over to the homestead. Moradino's secret files. They will sing Moradino's praises for a thousand generations. I have learned how to enter the cave of Gungir, the Troll King, and have imbued this very tome with the necessary spell. Oh yes, we can go to the Troll King now. In the future, I need only bring this book to the ray of light that pierces the magic mushroom ring, and Gungir's treasure will transform from granite to gorgeous gold. Pierces the magic mushroom ring. Oh yes! Very nice. So we're gonna do that actually in the next video, I believe. Oh, we do get one talent point. So I'm gonna look through those options over there. But until then, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.